it's me Ava back for another video in today's video I will be reviewing all of my geckos enclosures so let's get the video started so a quick rundown on the new geckos that I have that you guys have never seen so I rescued four geckos off of Craigslist this lady had bought geckos turtles and a chameleon but she only ever wanted the chameleon but her friend would only sell her the chameleon if she took all her animals so she didn't want the turtles and geckos so she just sold them on craigslist was like hey i'll give you four geckos a 40 gallon tank 100 bucks and i was like okay so i rescued them as soon as we got to the parking lot where we met her I knew something was up. She was like really wanting to quickly get them in our car. She was like, okay, I'll just take it. And she left. She didn't tell us much of anything. And so I looked at their tank and I'm like, oh my gosh, that is horrible. So I got home, immediately brought them to the patio out there. And their tank was so disgusting. It was the one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. There were dead and alive bugs, cockroaches, everything was nasty. It smelled like dog urine somehow. It was nasty. She had four geckos living in a 40 gallon tank and I'm like, you really shouldn't have two together. It was horrible. So when, we, when I first assessed all the geckos, there was one, her name is Bubbles. She's about this long and she has, no more about this long. And she has a little bubble tail where she's lost her tail like right at the start of where her tail begins. She lost it and she grew back a bubble tail. So I called her Bubbles. And then I have Ash and Capri. Ash is, I don't really know the morph. He looks like multiple morphs mixed. It's not really like one morph. So I don't really know what morph he is. And Capri is just a regular normal spotted. But Ash came to me and he was like super skinny and Capri was very overweight so I got Ash back on a good fat weight and Capri has lost a lot of weight for the first month she would not eat anything like she just refused to eat anything crickets worms anything well not actual worms mealworms and wax worms nothing until one day I finally saw her eat a cricket and it gave me hope so now I try to get crickets as often as I can and she's eating but she's still lost a lot of weight so I still get really nervous with her that one day I'll just wake up and she'll be gone but so far she's living a nice healthy life. Ash eats like crazy. That gecko will eat and eat and eat and eat non-stop. So I'm so happy that Ash is very happy with his life and I do have some unfortunate news. I did say I rescued four geckos. Within a couple of weeks <clears throat> after the rescue, sadly, Sunny Pathway. Sunny was a very, very, very obese gecko. It was like really bad. Tail was really thick, probably had a lot of heart issues. So sadly, about three weeks after I rescued the four, she sadly passed away. She looked to be also part blind because she couldn't really see anything very well. She wouldn't eat very well. Actually, she never really ate at all. So that's why I'm always scared when Capri doesn't eat a lot. I'm scared that she'll end up like Sunny. But I'm so glad Sunny didn't pass away with that lady. She at least knew happiness for a couple of weeks. And in today's video, we are going to be redoing all the Gecko's tanks. Back there, Stormfly. And Stormfly will be getting an upgrade today. So let's get along with the video. So this is Stormfly's enclosure. He has been in this 20 gallon tall tank ever since I got him. And it's been, I'd say about two years. So I think it's time for an upgrade. So on Facebook Marketplace, if you search long and hard enough, you will find a lot of good free stuff. So we found this 40 gallon tank for free on Marketplace. So I will be moving Stormfly into that. He has deserved this for a long time and I finally am able to give it to him. I don't know what he's doing. He's just being Marvy. But yeah, he's currently gonna be next to Stormfly. So now I am just going to take all Stormfly stuff out, clean it off, cause he likes to poop on that slate up there. And then I will move the soil over 
and probably add some because there will not be enough in here to go into there. So that is what I'm gonna do. tank looks like there's him and i think i'm gonna leave that for the next gecko i rescue so this tank will be used as a another gecko rescue tank if a gecko does not come with a tank i will put them in here so now we're gonna move all the substrate into that tank over there vacuum all the must and dust out but the dust flying through the air I don't know if you can see that oh my dirt dust that's going to land on all my furniture it's going to get everything so dusty I'm glad I'm vacuuming later so because this dirt gets so dry very quickly I think I'm going to add a little bit of water and I'm gonna mix it all into the soil so it's a little bit moist, not too moist where it goes really humid, but just enough to where it won't be so dusty. So I just added the water to the soil with my hands. So that's what I did. I mixed the water in. It was just enough where it will not be really humid. It's just so it's not so musty. So now I will move all his rocks in. I'll put his little heat pad in and we'll be set. his calcium dish which I need to fill up there's his water dish but I love it so I'm gonna put his heat pad right under here thermostat right up here next to the tank Marty does this when he wants to get out so I think I'm gonna let him have some floor time so just Marty do you want some floor time buddy want some floor time oh I know there we go here we go some floor time. Yeah. Now I gotta watch out not to step on you. Uh-huh. Yeah, yo bugger. But I love the tank. So I'll go grab a heat mat. Okay, so I got the thermostat set up, heat pad. So let's put the little bugger in. Here you go, Stormy. Come on. <gasps> Yay! Look at that upgrade, man. Good job, Stormy. Good job. Oh, yeah. Marty is being smarty. Yeah, hi. So, went from this to this. That is one big fat upgrade. Man, 20 gallon tall to 40 gallon wide. Oh wow, this is nice. You earned it, Stormy, you earned it. So this is Ash's tank and it's not, he's not gonna get an upgrade. We're just gonna redo the tank. We're gonna clean it really nicely. That's what we're gonna do for his and the rest. So let's get to doing his. So there is that, and now I will reconstruct his tank. So 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is Ash. As I said, I don't know what Mort P is. If you guys know, leave a comment. But he has this really cool like cookies and cream looking tail with a hint of pink. And it's like nice orange right there. And then it's like a cool yellow brown mix. It's super cool. And he's a super cool dude. Yeah, so we're gonna put him in his new tank. Well, not new. Oh my gosh, that gecko can jump. Son, man, he can jump. But there he goes, off to explore. So the glare is really bad right here, but this tank is Capri's tank. She's currently in that hide over there. And I want to add a couple hides cause I just, yeah, it's, it's not good looking. It's horrific. So I will be redoing her tank dramatically. So this is Capri. See what I mean about her tail being super skinny? Like it really worries me a lot how skinny her tail is. But this is her. She has really cool like red eyes. It's super cool. Yeah, she's a little sweetheart. She's my second favorite gecko. Storm 5 will always be my favorite. But yeah, she's my one of my favorite geckos. Love her to death. Oh, don't jump. So now we're gonna put her in a tank. Go explore, love. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Marty is currently roaming around like he knows the place. Mm-hmm. him in and this is a leopard gecko rescue so not all the geckos that I rescue I can keep so unfortunately I will be rehoming Lizzie to a very special home right not just to any home they have to have reptile experience I will ask them a bajillion questions like what's the temperature needs all their food needs all their calcium needs UVB heat I ask them all these questions and we will just see if we find him the right home. So I set him up in his nice little tank. Bubbles is over here in this 10 gallon. I know what you're thinking, adult gecko in a 10 gallon, that is not okay. But Bubbles is around five years old. But the thing is, this is Bubbles. She's like almost five years old and she's very tiny. Very, pretty much way smaller than Stormfly. It's your little bubble tail. So I'll be rehoming her in this 10 gallon. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe because I'm trying to reach 25 subscribers. And once I do, I'll be very pleased. And I am so glad you guys watched. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Marty, can you say goodbye? He's going to run away. Okay. I'll say bye for you. Bye, guys.